This is how you remind me of who I really am. This is how you remind me of who I really am. Not like you, so sorry, was living in a different story. Not like you, mistaken, worth having you a heart worth breaking. I've been up, I've been down, and to the bottom of every bottle. These five words in my head scream, are we having fun yet? Mm, yet, mm, yet. Yet, are we having fun yet? You thought Nickelback was bad? Until you heard me sing Nickelback. What's up, people? Here's a video from Bama Camera. B-A-M-A-C. I'm sorry, let me start over. B-A-M-A. -A, Bama. Space. Not the word space, but put a space like the space bar space. C-A-M-E-R-A. <laughs> Go there, subscribe, watch this video if you don't want to hear me talking. Don't go in the comments later and be like, Fran, you didn't make it so super easy for us to find the video. Uh. All right, so I didn't watch this whole thing. And I fast forward to the part where the guy's recording. Uh, whoever this anonymous source for Bama Camera is, he's recording a traffic stop because a bunch of SUVs are there. And I didn't watch the whole thing, but uh, the cops get butt hurt because he's recording, and then they come after him, and that's when I stop watching, and then we can watch it together. You ready? Let's go. I love when the phone does this. It goes black like that. Something new it's doing. It's really cool. Like the cop cars, thought they were cool. I just don't want us, I don't want my daughter's car in your field. Too bad you're in public. Wake up, dummy. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything with it. No, but you are filming a minor right now. Now, here we go. This cop figured out a way in his tiny little brain to lie about the law, what he's allowed to do, what he's allowed to say, and then, of course, he's gonna threaten him with violence. Yes, sir. Also, where? And you're also interfering with my traffic stop. Another lie. He's not interfering in any way, shape, or form. Just because his cop is butt hurt doesn't mean he's interfering. I'm interfering. So what I've done, I'm going to tell you, I'm stopping the traffic violation. Okay. I'm giving her a warning. Okay. So I don't know what concern it is. I don't know what concern it is of yours, stupid cop of a person exercising their First Amendment rights that you swore that you would protect. Instead, you're threatening him to cage him. Instead of protecting his rights to film, assemble, and be the press, you're threatening to put him in a cage instead. Yeah. And you can tell he's cops winning because he has a dumb look on his face. He don't even believe what he's saying. He doesn't even believe what he's saying. You are interfering with my traffic stop, which is a criminal offense. First of all, he's not interfering, you idiot. I swear to God, they must hand out a different dictionary at the police department. They have their own dictionary. Interfering in police dictionary is anytime we don't like what you're doing, even though we swore to protect that activity. That's what interfering in police, the police dictionary is. How am I interfering, sir? Now he's obstructing. In other words, this officer can't give his warning to this motorist because of a camera. The camera is obstructing his ability to hand out the warning. You understand, people? 
This is how fragile police are. They they don't run on a regular dictionary. They run on police dictionary. Whatever we say words mean, they mean. I'm observing. Yeah, now this guy's being a nice cop pretending like he doesn't violate people's rights on a daily basis. All right, well, y'all have a good day. this guy exercising his rights i mean we can't just let him exercise his rights right we have to harass him or something right we got to get him to surrender at least one or two of his rights right Seriously, this guy thinks he can just assemble, record, and be the press like the first law on the books that we swore we would protect? Come on, we can't have that. said nothing and spoke to no one until Corporal Tolliver addressed me. Observing and recording a traffic stop is neither interfering nor obstruction. It is constitutionally protected activity. If anyone was interfering or obstructing, it was the woman who walked up to the car and Corporal Tolliver during the traffic stop. Of course, they did not have a video camera, so they were not threatened with a criminal offense. A few minutes later, Sergeant Perkins of the Irondale Police Department confronts me. This is the interaction. Of course, these cops couldn't let this guy exercise his rights. They had to come and harass him. It's it. They're trained to violate your rights, people. They couldn't just go away without trying to get this guy to surrender his Fourth Amendment. Yeah, sir. Hey there. I need to get your uh, name and address and phone number, sir. No thanks. Dude, I need to subpoena your uh, telephone. No thanks. Yes, sir. I need it. You suspect me of a crime. No, sir, I need it because... You suspect I, me of a crime, sir. No, I don't suspect okay, you of a crime, well. but I... Then go F yourself, dummy. I need you, in case you, I need you for a witness, sir. There's nothing to witness. I w in case we need you as a witness for this warning we gave this motorist, so when we go to court over this warning, we could call you in as a witness. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm not you, giving you, you any information. Right sir, I am not giving stuff. you any information unless you can tell me that you suspect me of a crime. You're denying me, giving me any information. Is that what you're saying, sir? Are you you're familiar with 15530, sir? 
I'm sorry. Are you familiar with 15530? Alabama 15. State Code 15530. Maybe so. Well, immediate listen people it's powerful to know the number of the statute and stand on it nice and firm because he immediately his posture changed when dude threw the exact code right in his stupid face i haven't seen past this by the way i'm just saying sir i need your information and i'm telling you you don't need anything idiot you need to go do your job and protect the constitution I'm not giving it to you. You're not. That's right. Unless you can tell me that you suspect me of a crime. You may, may be possibly involved. Maybe in crime. possibly is not. Maybe possibly. The same, sir. But I need your information. I'm so not giving. No, you don't, idiot. Shut up. You don't need anything. You need an education. That's what you need. I'll get to you, sir. Subpoena your records. <laughs> I'm not getting subpoena your records when we go to court over this warning. Do you anything, sir? Oh, really, O'Reilly? Really? Oh, you suspect me of a crime, sir? I didn't say that you committed okay. any crime okay. in front of me. Okay. Then why are you trying to get ID? That's the whole point, imbecile. If you don't suspect someone of a crime, they're not required to ID in almost every state in America. Please check your local laws. This is not legal advice. Do your own diligence. Don't be a moron. You're being recorded also. That's fine. Oh my God. I'm being recorded. Yeah, the only thing is, you guys are scared of cameras, not us. Idiot. So everybody's recording everybody here. Good, good. Have a nice day, officer. Oh, I'm not leaving. Okay. Well, I'm not leaving until you surrender your Fourth Amendment right. Hello? I'm not leaving at all. I mean, well, there's plenty of stuff to look at to buy if you would like. Is this your business, sir? I'm not answering any questions. You're not answering any questions? You're not answering any questions? What are you, deaf? You have a business license in Irondale? You have None of your business, idiot. I have a right to see your business license if this is What makes business. you think this is my business? <clears throat> is this not your business, sir? I'm I don't, answer, I don't question. answer questions. Okay. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. See how powerful I don't answer questions is? If everyone did that, the police would have to only go after crimes with victims. He's harassing another innocent person who already looks intimidated because he's butt hurt that the first person knows his rights and won't surrender them. Is this his business? Not that I don't want. Business is it? None of your business. That's whose business it is. It's none of your business. Idiot. See, the more stripes on the sleeve, the more ignorant and aggressive they are. I don't want to hear this few bad apples crap anymore. She should have said, I don't answer questions. I don't consent to this conversation. Leave me alone. That is what she's saying by, how'd you get me involved in this? Because now he's being a prick. A business license to operate this business. That's all I'm business license to operate this business. What in the world made you think that the business didn't have a business license to begin with? What in the world? First, you're like, you need that guy to surrender his Fourth Amendment. Now you're going after a business and a business license. Are you reaching yet, you idiot? You do this on camera, you idiot. This is your legacy. That and your helmet haircut. Yes, yeah, answer his questions see you see as soon as you answer a question he starts getting jumpy and starts asking more questions the words a camera and the words i don't answer questions are kryptonite to police
What's your name and badge number? I, I don't mind publicizing my information, sir. Okay. It's right here on my shirt who I am and what okay. my position is. All right. Okay? I'm Sergeant Oath Violator, and I have no problem, no problem advertising it. That's in danger. You want me to go? No. Again, the three, four, S, four, three SUVs in a, in a patrol car because they can't leave and go do something else and actually find a crime because they're so butthurt that this guy had the gall to exercise his First Amendment rights. This cop is going down to the next business now. He's investigating a guy for exercising his rights. You people understand what's going on here? He's investigating a man. Gotta find out who the man who dared to exercise his rights is. That's that's what he's pay, using your taxpayer dollars. As stupid as police are, imagine how many billions, if not trillions of dollars they've wasted of years over the decades. like the sergeant went and found the owner of the whole property and cried Wah! there's a guy videotaping us and exercising his rights on our he's exercising his rights on our traffic stop and my booty hole hurts and you're my preparation H you understand will you tell him to leave your property because he, because he's rec he's exercising his rights Get him out of here. I'm soliciting a trespass from you. I'm a loser. What does it say? I turned off my main camera when you asked me to leave, but still have my phone live streaming. The remaining video from the is from the live stream. Sorry for the poor quality. And the previous shaky video, I was taking video with both hands. Notice how belligerent Sergeant Perkins becomes after asking to have me trespassed. I wonder if he asked the owner for the for his business license. I promise you, Sergeant Butthurt Perkins, look, look at what they do with your tax money, people. They retaliate against people who are exercising their rights. They can't deal with somebody exercising their rights and just having the freedom to do so. Holy crap. Oh. Oh my goodness. kidding me what a boot licking scumbag good job sergeant per perkins you call worst a uh, uh, communist citizen who doesn't know his rights to violate somebody else's rights i don't believe i don't think cops are allowed to just solicit trespass like that that's disgusting that's such a cowardly move mr perkins i'm leaving
You still don't know who he is, idiot. You got him to leave a property because your butt hurt. Now what? You still didn't surrender any of his rights. You still didn't win anything. You didn't get anything from him. You idiot, imbecile loser. Yay. You got some guy kicked off of a communist property. No. No. You're going to follow me. <laughs> you can follow me and get my tag. if you. I'm sure that's what you're going to do, right? I'm leaving, sir. I'm talking to him. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, sir. I'm leaving. Do you see me? That's what I'm doing. Go, go. That's what I'm doing. Okay, go. What a shocker. Coward, he's got his pen and paper in his hand ready to go. Coward. Three more cowards that couldn't leave the scene because somebody exercised their rights. I would have walked off the property into the, uh, I, I mean, I say this now that I'm watching this, but the best thing to do, in my opinion, would have been to walk over to the right away, stand there, record them till they leave, and then just have your wife or whoever's with you or call somebody to go get in your car and just drive it off his property. But, you know, it's easy to say that after the fact while I'm not in the heat of the moment. So with Perkins and Tolliver. There's the numbers, people. Let's see if I can give him a call here right now. Chief of Police, Police Ken Atkinson. Come on, let me copy and paste that. Like how you can't copy and paste. Hold on. Thank you for calling the city of Irondale. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. through 5 p.m. If you know your party's extension, please press star or choose from the following menu. For the mayor's office, press 1. For the Revenue Department, press 2. For the Municipal Court, press 3. For the Water Department, press 4. For Accounting, press 5. For Human Resources, press 6. For Building Inspections, press 7. For the City Clerk, press 8. For Public Works, press 9. For the Operator, press 0. Please wait. You are being transferred. State of Irondale, this is Pam. May I help you? Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to contact the police department of Irondale. Okay. Okay, let me give you the um, non-emergency number. Okay. That's 956-5990. Mm -hmm. That's, what's the area code? 205, I'm sorry. 205-596. No, 205-956. Five nine nine 
0950. 2095965990. One more time. It's 205. Mm -hmm. 956. Mm -hmm. 5990. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hey, how are you, ma'am? All right, how are you? Very good. Uh, I just uh, watched a video of uh, officers Tolliver and uh, Perkins, I believe, violate a man's rights. I'm just wondering if those two people still work for the department. Okay, let me give you the sergeant's number. The sergeant's number? Mm -hmm. Hold on one second here. Go ahead. 951. That's 205 area code? Yeah, 205 area code. Yeah. 951 uh -huh. 1380. Uh huh. Thanks. Uh huh. Have a good day. You too. Thank you for calling the Irondale Police Department. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911 to report a crime, to report animal complaints, or for information about the city jail, please hang up and dial 205-956-5990 to speak to dispatch. For all other calls, please select from the following options. For administration, press 2. For the patrol sergeants, press 3. For investigation. For Sergeant Meadows, press 1. For Sergeant Hayes, press 2. For Sergeant Hill, press 3. For Sergeant Perkins, press 4. Call has been answered by a via IP office. Extension two one three what a shocker. five is not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. Record at the tone. How convenient, Mr. Uh, Perkins, that when the citizens call to redress our grievances, that you have a voicemail ready and set up. I just witnessed you violate a man's rights and uh, get all butt hurt because somebody dared to exercise their rights that you swore to protect. I don't know what kind of coward you are or uh, what kind of man you are in general, but uh, you don't get to tell us Americans what to do. We're your boss and not the other way around. Just remember that, sir. And I know you won't answer calls, and I'm not going to waste my time calling you over and over. I'm sure you're just an indoctrinated piece of garbage for many decades now. And uh, you probably raise uh, scumbag children that are just like you. So, next time, review your oath before you try to solicit a trespass, you disgusting animal. Go read the Bill of Rights that you swore to protect, and how dare you act that way. You and Tolliver should go uh, get naked and strap each other together, you know. You and Tolliver should, should uh, look at each other naked and, and pretend like you're men. And pretend like you don't like each other in that way. All right, disgusting animal. Stop violating people's rights. Get a life. We're allowed to record you. You understand what we're saying here? Good. I'm glad you understand. Have a good day, dummy. All right, there's a good voicemail for Sergeant Perkins. So he does still work there. Of course he's going to still work there. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching my video. This will not be monetized. YouTube hates the truth, hates people like me who have an opinion. If it's not their opinion, if it's not leftist, trans, this, that, LGBT, XYZ, to the H double O N double A C P, then you know, they don't want to hear it. That's why they demonetize Crowder. They'll probably eventually demonetize me.
my, my uh, the wind will be uh, deflated. My sails will be deflated or whatever it's called. But I'll still make videos just to be a prick. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please go to my Etsy store. Peace and tranquility. See you later.